when we are talking about video content, sound is important. If you have halfway decent video quality and not so shaky footage, people will stick around if the information stored within your video is good enough for them. But if you have bad audio, people are likely to jump off your videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how different kind of microphones can sound in the real life conditions and also how their price point, unfortunately, will affect the sound quality. What up guys, welcome back to the episode. My name is Edwin and today we are going to talk about the importance of good audio quality. There are different kind of microphones for different kind of situations and they all come in at different price points but the big question is which microphone does fit your needs and are affordable microphones necessarily bad? In today's video I'm going to compare the Godox VD mic, the Hollyland Lark 150, the DAD D3 Pro and the Zoom h 8s XY-H-6 microphone and to level the playing field all of the microphones are feeding into my Zoom H8. To give you a good impression how the different microphones sound under certain conditions I came up with this crazy looking audio rig. And as we progress along through the video I will shuffle through the individual microphones while I'm talking to you and while I give you dedicated samples from out in the field. The text on the bottom of the video will indicate which microphone you are hearing at the moment. Side note, Hollyland and Godox were kind enough to supply me with their microphones for this test, but they did not pay me to say anything in this video, so everything you're about to see and hear is my own opinion about their products. Regarding the DD D3 Pro, I already made an in-depth video, so I will link it here for you so you can watch it later. With that said, let's begin with what comes in the box and what makes each and every one of those microphones so special. Let us start with the Godox VD mic. First up is a bunch of paperwork. The Godox VD mic is surprisingly well built for its price point and even more so surprising, the entire housing is made out of metal. With its low weight and compact design, it is made for mobile vloggers or people who are focusing on a small lightweight rig. Especially people who are filming mostly outside or are vloggers will appreciate that Godox is including a dead cat. Another must-have accessory that is included with the VD mic is a Rycott shock mount. Another pleasant surprise is that the VD mic comes with two cables, one TRS cable and one TRRS cable. Simply put, the red cable is for smartphones and the black cable is for DSLRs. If you're using the red cable, make sure that the gray plug is plugged into your smartphone's headphone jack. Next up is the Lark 150 from Hollyland. First of course, paperwork. The Hollyland Lark 150 is a one-of-a-kind microphone system cause it comes in a charging case. So in other terms, this makes the Lark 150 the ear parts of microphones. The whole case can be charged via USB-C and contains two transmitters and one receiver. Every time you are inserting one of those, it will automatically charge them so they are up and ready to go whenever you need them in the field. The individual units are kept in place due to magnets. The receiver which is located in the middle also serves as a display so you will always be able to check the status of the individual modules and the case. Like the Godox VD mic, the Lark 150 comes with an extensive amount of accessories. Thankfully they also included a fairly nice pouch to store all of these. We have a TRS cable, one USB-A to USB-C charging cable, two additional lavalier microphones which can be plugged into the transmitters, and two dead cat like thingies that can be applied to the internal microphones of the transmitters to protect them from wind noise. Comparing microphones in a controlled studio environment in my opinion is only half of the story. That's why I decided to expose the microphones to different kind of environmental background noises. For this I went out and recorded two sequences in very different surroundings. Hopefully this will help you to decide which microphone is the right one for your needs. This is a sound check where I'm standing right next to a water of body. This is a sound check, one, two, three, four, five. This is a sound check where I'm standing right next to a water of body. This is a sound check, one, two, three, four, five. This is a sound check where I'm standing right next to a water of body. This is a sound check, one, two, three, four, five. This is a sound check where I'm standing right next to a water of body. 
This is a sound check, one, two, three, four, five. This is a sound check where I'm standing right next to a water of body. This is a sound check, one, two, three, four, five. This is an audio test where I'm standing right next to a busy street. How is the audio? Which one of the microphones does perform the best? This is an audio test. This is an audio test where I'm standing right next to a busy street. How is the audio? Which one of the microphones does perform the best? This is an audio test. This is an audio test where I'm standing right next to a busy street. How is the audio? Which one of the microphones does perform the best? This is an audio test. This is an audio test where I'm standing right next to a busy street. How is the audio? Which one of the microphones does perform the best? This is an audio test. This is an audio test where I'm standing right next to a busy street. How is the audio? Which one of the microphones does perform the best? This is an audio test. Since some of you also like to record environmental audio, here's an example how the microphones handle such a situation. Now we know how the individual microphones sound like, so let's talk about the things I like and dislike about the Lark 150 and the VD mic. The VD mic, in my opinion, is a super versatile, low profile, low budget mic that can record on every kind of device. And at its price point, it has a surprisingly good build and sound quality. The only thing I don't like about it is that due to its weight, the Rycock mount has a hard time keeping it level. So make sure it is actually pointing to the source of sound you want to record. The Hollyland Lark 150 is a unicorn. The build quality of this device is certainly supreme and the ease of use is hard to beat. The Lark can record to smartphones and cameras. Especially helpful in interview scenarios is that you can record with two microphones. So one person will be the left and the other one will be the right audio channel. This way you properly can record a conversation by simply just clipping on two small transmitters onto your talents. If you don't want the microphones to be seen, Hollyland even includes two lavalier microphones that can be plugged into the transmitters for a concealed setup. Another thing worth mentioning is the ability to monitor your audio levels on the Lark 150's receiver. So if you have somebody behind the camera, you can actually adjust the recording levels or even mute them if necessary. Even though I like the display on the Lark receiver, it performs poorly in direct sunlight. And once it's entering standby, it becomes almost invisible. I also did an open field test to see how far the transmitter and receiver can go apart from each other. And I have to say my results were far away from the promised 100 meters. So you can go about 10 meters until the receiver starts to drop all kinds of audio. Every now and then it re-establishes the connection, but after that it is breaking off again. Once you get a little bit closer, it already starts to improve again. A bunch of you guys reached out to me how the Lark 150 works with an iPhone. So the important thing is that in the settings you have to be in mono mode, otherwise the iPhone will not recognize the sound that comes out of the Lark 150. And you will also have to have one of those TRRS cables I showed you in the beginning of the video, otherwise it will not work. And if you have one of the newer iPhones, you will have to have one of those lightning headphone jack adapters, otherwise it's yet again not going to work. So as you can see, this is how it sounds. So this was the tap test. And if I remove the Lark 150 from the iPhone, 
This is how the iPhone 12 Pro sounds regularly. But all things considered, the fact that the Lark 150 is the earpod equivalent for microphones, it's pretty impressive and you certainly get a lot for your money. In conclusion, the most important question is, which of the microphones was your favorite? If you had to choose one of these microphones for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments. With that said, I hope you learned something new today. And if you liked today's episode, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.